Education Mobile Quality e-learning experience on the go Simple farm tools Since man learned to cultivate the soil, different forms of hand tools have been used. Initially, they were very crude as we earlier said, but now they have been modified to suit the farm operations better and at the same time they offer more mechanical advantage. Some garden tools include the hoe, the machete, the cutlasses, the spade, the shovel, hand trowel, hand fork, digger or garden fork, the rake, the sickle, axe or pickaxe, the mattock, the garden shears, the cicatoires, the body knife, the watering can, the wheelbarrow, and the headpan. The hoe is a basic tool used by most farmers to till the soil. The size and shapes differ in different localities. The hoe consists of a wooden handle which may be short or long and a metal blade which varies in width, length and weight. Holes are used for tilling the soil and making ridges, nursery beds, mounds and for excavating irrigation channels. It is also used for weeding and removing roots. The machetes or cutlasses. They consist of a wooden handle and a blade of hardened steel. The size and shape of the blade varies. Some cutlasses have slightly curved blade while others have straight blade and are smaller in size. Machetes and cutlasses are used for bush clearing, weeding, harvesting, cereal and root crops, stem cutting of trees and shrubs, making planting holes, preparing stem cuttings, slaughtering of animals, etc. The spade consists of a rectangular metal blade into which is fitted a wooden shaft which is fitted with a handle. The blade is usually pressed down with one foot, the handle lifted back and the soil lifted and turned over. The spade is used for digging planting holes, digging drains, foundations and trenches, turning the soil, removing rubbish and stones, etc. The shovel is similar to the spade except that it has a thinner hollow blade which may be either hard shaped or straight sided but always slightly concave. It is used for packing soil, manure, rubbish, etc. It is also used for rough leveling, loading materials into wheelbarrows and trucks. The hand trowel consists of a short wooden handle attached to a small curved blade rounded at the base to form a scoop. It is used for transplanting seedlings, digging small holes on nursery beds, mixing manure and fertilizer with the soil. The hand fork consists of a short wooden handle fitted with four metal prongs or tines. It is used for slight weeding and light tillage and for loosening the topsoil. As the name implies, it looks like our kitchen forks. Digger or garden fork. The garden fork has a handle similar to that of the spade fitted with four prongs each prong tapers towards the end so that it can penetrate the soil easily. It is used for loosening the soil, turning manure during compositing, carrying loose materials and spreading manure. The rake. The rake has long wooden handle and a head with metal teeth or prongs set along a bar. It is used for leveling ridges and soil surface, for breaking down lumps of soil into finer particles, for removing stones and rubbish from beds. The sickle. The sickle consists of a short wooden handle fitted to a curved metal blade. It is shaped like a question mark. The sickle is used for harvesting cereal crops like the rice, millet, wheat and for cutting forage for livestock. The axe or pickaxe. The axe has a wooden handle inserted into a metal blade. The blade can have one or two sharp edges. The axe is used for cutting down trees, for splitting logs, for cutting roots and for stomping operations. The pickaxe 
is a double-headed tool with a slightly curved metal head into which is inserted a strong wooden handle. One end of the head is pointed and the other slightly flattened. The big axe is used for breaking up heavy soil, removing large stones from the ground, digging out tree stumps and roots. The mattock. The mattock looks like a pickaxe but has a flattened hole like blade replacing the pointed end of the pickaxe head. The other part of the head has a narrow axe like blade. The mattock is used for stomping, removal of roots and tree stumps. The garden shears. The shear resembles a large pair of scissors but has wooden or metal handles. They are used for trimming hedges and shrubs. The cicatur consists of two short metal blades, one which is convex, attached to stout handles. The blades cross in operation, both cutting through the branch. It is used for light pruning of fruit and trimming border plants. The body knife. This consists of a sharp metal blade mounted on a stout wooden handle. It is used for cutting, boarding, and grafting operations. The watering can is a container made of galvanized iron or plastic and with a spout to which is fitted a rose or sprinkler, which may be changed to give either a coarse or fine spray. On the opposite side of the spout is a handle. Watering can is used for watering seed boxes, potted plants, nursery banks, seedlings freshly transplanted, etc. The wheelbarrow is a large metal or wooden container with one wheel at its front, two handles at the rear and two legs which support the container. The container has raised sides. The wheelbarrow is used mostly on school gardens and large commercial farms for transporting farm materials like the harvested crops, fertilizers and manures, farm tools and debris. The headpan. The headpan is a container made of galvanized metal and fitted with two short handles. It is used for transporting small quantities of crops, farm inputs and seedlings in the farm. Maintenance of simple garden tools. You know, for our garden tools to last for us, for their lifespan to be prolonged, there are certain measures that we are to take. And they include 1. Tools should be used for the right jobs for which they are made. For example, don't use the cicatur for something else that they are not made for. Tools should be cleaned immediately after use and stored away from the sun and rain. Tools with cutting edge should be sharpened regularly using sharpening stone or file. We are to tighten bolts and knots before working. There are also other fishing tools which include the hook and line or the rod and line, the fishing basket, the dragnet, the spares, knives and arrows, the fish traps. Hook and line or rod and line is dropped in the water and fishes on seeing the bait attempt to eat it and get caught in the mouth and body. The fishing basket is a tightly woven basket made from palm frond leaves it is used in shallow ponds and lakes to scoop up water containing fishes. Dragnet Most dragnets are made of fine cotton or nylon with the right mesh size for harvesting fish. Spares, knives and arrows are wild equipment which can be used to kill the fish which struggles as it is being caught. Fish traps Fish traps are woven from the bamboo, the raffia, the cane, oil palm or wire mesh. It is pinned down in water so that water current carries fishes into the traps. 